Hey church, welcome to your weekly Connection Point video. I'm Jake. And I'm Scott. Let's get to it. Hello, Jake. How are you? <laughs> well, I'm just peachy. Awesome. What do we have for the folks today? Well, we believe that people enjoy us being spruced up. Some would say maybe a rose among thorns helps our appearance, helps our um, delight to the eye. Yeah. And, and so we've got someone today, I think, that will delight people. Yes. And every rose has a thorn. That's what I hear. Yeah. So we have we have a guest again. Is that what's happening? Yes. All right. Who is it? Without further ado, let's get the guest. Hey, Tara. Hi, Jake. What's up? It's Tara. Yay. Hey. The fourth and most important member of our family team. Well, that's correct. <laughs> yep. If only Katie was here, family team could have united. Complete. But she wouldn't fit in the frame because. <laughs> We're we're all squeezed in the frame. So. But that's not a fat. That's was, not a fat joke. That's not a fat, not a fat joke. It is not nice. for anybody. She's, she's small, but there's, there's tiny. The camera. The smallest of us all. It's the camera's fault. So why do we have Tara with oh. us today? Well, as you know, spring is coming to an end Ugh. soon. As far as the spring semester goes. Okay, there we you can go. Think of, okay. Okay. I don't know seasons. Yeah. June twenty first. <laughs> um, so, with semester coming to an end, we've got Wednesday nights coming to an end. Uh, it's when is sad. our last night of Wednesday nights? Hmm. It's May 19th. Okay, so there's still time last... to get in on Wednesday yes. nights, kids yes. or students. Still time. People can still come, bring their friends, grandkids, yes. why not? Absolutely. We've got a few more weeks of Wednesday night preschool, Wednesday night kids, Wednesday night students. We'd love for you to be here at 6 to 7.30 p.m. on Wednesdays. Bring your friends, all that good stuff. But, with the end of Wednesday night coming... Summer is on the horizon, yes. and summer. with summer comes VBS. Oh, yes. Have fun so summer. some some I think have said that VBS kicks off summer. Does for me. And specifically, Beaverdam's VBS. Yep. A lot of churches try to do VBS. Beaverdam does VBS. We kick it off. This is the first full week after you get out of summer. So June the 7th through the 11th is starting of your summer. We're going to start off right with Vacation Bible School here at Beaver Dam. We do the mornings. We do 9 a.m. to 12 each day, Monday through Friday with a family night on Thursday night. So the parents can come see all the fun things they've been learning, hear the music, see the rooms. That sounds like a blast. Yeah. I went to VBS as a child. Did you? So... VBS, did I, you I go? I did as well. I did went. you go, Jake? I went... Uh, Maybe. If you did, it's okay. <laughs> We're not here to shame you. You're, I went to a couple saved, different yeah. VBS things as a kid. Things. They weren't Beaver Dam VBS. Well, so. that's I didn't go to a Beaver Dam though. VBS. So, yeah. you know, South Knoxville, what? what? Oh, anyway, yeah. so, okay, so Vacation Bible School is coming up. So, do you still have needs in Vacation Bible School? Absolutely. There's a place for everybody. If you can't even work the week of because you have full-time job, we have things before. Um, decorating, putting up signs. We've made signs this year to get the word out because not as many people are here. So we have some yard signs. You can put it at your business, on a street, we don't care where, in your subdivision. Just help us uh, get the word out so that the community can come and take advantage of this full week of fun and of studying God's word, um, fellowship, which we've all missed out on for a long time now and so we're just super excited to be back in person with a full vbs absolutely so, and absolutely. then of course the week of teachers greeters helpers of all kinds um even if you can only do part of the time just give us a call and we'll help you find a place that will help us sounds fantastic so how should they get in touch with you if they want to serve Email is always good. You can look on the website. If you don't know our emails, it's always our first initial and our last name. Um, myself or Katie Jell, of course, are organizing all things. You can call the main office number and ask for us. Um, if you have my cell phone, just, um, so email, cell phone, or the church office, you can call us, um, get in touch with us, and um, we'll be glad to help plug you in. Absolutely. And so uh, it's registration for uh, children 
Uh, now, who's eligible to come to Vacation Bible School? Okay, so you have to be going into kindergarten. It's those that are five or are headed into kindergarten in August um, and through have completed fifth grade. So those that are in fifth grade this year have that one last year to enjoy Vacation Bible School before they go to youth group and don't have all the fun stuff anymore. Oh, I'm just teasing. But um, they have to grow up. Um, but, yeah, so five-year-olds going into kindergarten – through fifth grade or have classes available. Awesome. And so can or how do um, parents register their children for Vacation Bible School? Two ways. If you're here at our church, we will have tables set up in the foyer um, of the sanctuary with paper and pen registration forms. Good old school. We also have through the website, um, click a link. You should be able to very easily register you and your friends. If you have neighbors you're inviting, friends you're inviting that aren't here to get a piece of paper, um, you can get online and do it. Or if it's just easier for you than juggling it on a Sunday morning, um, feel free to just get on bdbc.org and click on the children's VBS spot and it will lead you to the link to register. And the registration is super simple. Um, I registered my two boys uh, yesterday for my phone. Um, And so uh, what a blessing that is. You can text that link uh, to your buddies. You can send it out on social media. Uh, And that's another way that folks can help uh, is by promoting it, by telling everybody on their ball team, telling everybody on their cheer squad, telling everybody in their um, extracurricular activities or their classroom, whatever. Invite everybody, right? I, we know some of the things at school you can't do. You can't just invite one person. you got to invite everybody. Hey, VBS is open do for that. everyone, That's right? right. Um, yes, no holds remember. bar. Mm-hmm. The more the merrier. Yes. Sounds great. Love it. One other thing I wanted to mention as far as we're talking about serving We've got the purge coming up. We mentioned that a couple weeks ago, and Katie Jell, of course, just told me mm-hmm. yesterday that we've got a cool opportunity for our students to serve oh. on May 13th, the night before the purge. Six to eight is one shift, and then four to six is another shift. We're going to feed you pizza. Oh. You can come. We're going to put you to work, so you can't just be hanging out on your phone, but we want you to come and serve in that. So that they're able, yeah, and so that's a four to six shift and a six to eight shift, right? That's right. Okay, you're a psychopath. Why would you ever say six to eight first (laughs) and then four to six? So come and eat dinner. I'll say dinner in between the shifts, right? Shift change. About six. I don't know how Katie's going to plan all that out, but it's going to Or you're going to plan it out. It's student ministry. Get it together. We'll see. We'll see what happens. (laughs) Katie will do it. We love each other. We love each other. an opportunity to serve. Just trying to help out. we got VBS, service opportunities. We can do both. We want you to serve. And I've heard from lots of Sunday school classes that are looking for ways to connect as a group, as they serve together. Uh, And so VBS is a great way uh, that teams uh, of people can serve together. Uh, The Purge is a great example. Uh, There's always ways for you to serve. And so even as I was just before this talking to a Sunday school teacher about how do we move the needle for us to recognize um, needs in other people's lives. And so instead of expecting someone else to do Vacation Bible School, maybe the Lord is opening our eyes and our hearts to see such a time as this for me to step up and serve and do something instead of complaining or being the one that just watches. Get in the game. Step up. we got a place for you to serve. We want to put you in the game. Uh, let us know how we can uh, help you uh, utilize the gifts, talents, um, roles, responsibilities that the Lord has blessed you with uh, individually. So It's a really cool thing, too, when you're serving alongside somebody, mm-hmm. the fellowship that happens and just the connection that happens and that iron sharpening iron, that stirring one another up to love and good works. Just a really cool opportunity. So don't be afraid to jump in. Absolutely. It's fun. All right, anything else, or is that is that what we got for today? I'm exhausted. All right. Well, we are excited <laughs> about seeing you Thinking this Wednesday it. night uh, as we do things 6 to 7.30. Obviously, get at uh, Tara or Katie if you want to serve in Vacation Bible School or if you have any questions. So we love you guys. Look forward to seeing you in person. Um, holler at us. Have a great one. Thanks,